Hi students, today we are going to start a new chapter in EVS. That is chapter number 11, our need for air. Now students tell me, can we see air? Come on students. No, we cannot see air. Now tell me, can we feel air? Come on students, think. Yes, very good. We can feel air. Now tell me, can we smell air? Very good. Answer is no, we cannot smell air. Now tell me, can we taste air? Very good. The answer is no, we cannot taste air. Now students tell me, does A have a color? Think, come on. No, very good. A does not have any color. Now tell me, is air all around us? Come on, yes, air is all around us. So my dear students, there is air all around us. Though we can feel it, we cannot see it. It does not have color, smell or taste. All living things like plants, animals, birds, insects, aquatic animals need air for respiration. Air is the most important natural resources. Without breathing, we cannot survive. Now students, there is a small riddle for you to solve. You have to guess the right answer. Come, let's see. There's something there. It is to be found up and down and all around. You can't touch it. You can't see it. But sure, has sure. You can name it. Come on children, you have to guess the right answer. Come on, think. Very good. The answer is air. You have guessed it right. We get different colors and shapes of balloons. We use the balloons for decoration at parties. When we blow a balloon, we feel air inside it. If the air is filled in the balloon in excess, the balloon will burst. Air is all around us. For example, when we blow air into a balloon, it inflates. Now students, let's see what is respiration. We breathe in air through our nose. That is inhalation. We breathe out air through our nose. That is exhalation. Inhalation and exhalation are together called breathing. We breathe continuously. That is called respiration. We also inhale and exhale during sleep. And so we can also see a sleeping person's chest moving up and down. Come students, now let's see. Why do we breathe? We need our body to function properly. We need air for that purpose. When we breathe in, we take air into our body. Air makes us feel fresh and lively. Air is necessary for our body. To get the vigor, we need to work properly. Like us, all other living things also need air. If we look carefully, we can see a dog's chest also going up and down. It tells us that animals also breathe. Fishes live in water. It makes one wonder how they get the air to breathe. But fishes are able to use the air that is dissolved in water. Some people keep fishes in a glass fish tank. It is called an aquarium. It is always full of water. The fishes in the aquarium use the air dissolved in the water for breathing. As a result, the amount of air dissolved in the water can get reduced. 
if all the air was used up the fish would die therefore more air is continuously added to the water in the aquarium we see air bubbles rising up through the water in such fish tanks my dear students now we will going to try this small activity come take a look at this take half a glass of clean water take a small piece of newspaper sheet roll it to make a straw about 10 cm long dip one end of the straw into the water through the other end blow into it with your mouth now my dear students what do you see bubbles rise up in the water what does this tells us you blew air into the water this air rose up and escaped in the form of bubbles my dear students what we have learned today there is air everywhere we cannot see it with our eyes air does not have color smell or taste living things need air for respiration thank you students